Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to play Monopoly Go on airplane mode. Before we start, hurry up and check out the self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you play Monopoly Go on airplane mode here? Well, in this case, this one is kind of tricky, but I'll be explaining to you how to exactly do that. But in this case, uh, there's a bit of warning here, so later on I'll be discussing that. But in this case, how do you perform the airplane mode hack here, or in this case, glitch? So the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up Monopoly Go, and you want to go and log in into your account and start accessing. So what we need to do is we first need to track the current location of our token. So you currently have this at the top most right of our screen here. And yeah, remember the location for that. Now, in this case, you want to go ahead and basically specify the uh, role that you are rewarding one. So I would suggest you to uh, put this in max. So next thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and proceed on turning on airplane mode. So in this case, let's go ahead and just drag down a bit here and let's go and turn on airplane mode. Now, from here on, you could go and start rolling and start recording your rolls. So let's go and start our roll here. And I think I got a four or five eight here so I just start recording that and by the way this is times 10 so I'll just make sure to remember your your multiply here let's go and roll another one and from here we got for six and let's go and record another one and we I think we got a 10 here if you want so we have a 10 so the first two rolls here is okay but the last one is not good for us so in this case you could go ahead and start rolling again so he got a got some shields here. So let's just uh, record this. this is a five. So in this case, you could start go ahead and start rolling until you get the no interconnection option, or in this case, pop up here. So this this allows you allows you to see what the rolls are going to be. But there are going to be some limitations, which I'll be discussing to you. So six, seven, eight again, and uh, yeah. So in this case, once you're done, or once the no internet connection actually pops up, what you need to do is you need to exit Monopoly Go here. And before you turn on or turn off uh, airplane mode here, what we need to do is we need to press and hold on Monopoly Go, click on the eye icon here, and you want to go and click on clear data at the bottom right here and click on clear all data and click on OK. Now, in this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next here is we want to go ahead and turn off airplane mode. And we could go ahead and open up Monopoly Go again and basically re-log in into our account. Now, since we've just recorded our, uh, in this case, our roles here, we could go ahead and start using that into our advantage. But the thing here is there are going to be some limitations of what you could do with this specific um, uh, method. So let's just specify our age here. Let's just click on this age here. Click on play with friends to log in into our account and use our Facebook account. And in here, let's go ahead and click on don't allow. So yeah, on our previous low, I think we got an eight, six, 10, five, eight. So we don't want to use the third roll here because that actually uh, is a bad roll. So we want to get or proceed on using the first two rolls. So like what I said, we could go ahead and proceed using or taking this advantage. Let's go ahead and start rolling. So in here, we got an eight like what we got saw before. And in here, we now got a six. Now in this case, what we need to do next here is we want to go ahead and not get the third one. So in this case, in order for you to reset that, what you need to do is you could go ahead and change the multiplier itself. Now the multiplier, actually when you use it, when you click on the multiplier, it will actually change the sequence of your rolls. So again, like what I said before, on the total roll here, we actually got a 10. So when we change our multiplier here, so let's just say uh, eight times one reward, you can go ahead and click on go again, and that would actually change the sequence. So instead of getting like a 10, we only got like an eight which is a different one here, and you could go ahead and start rolling, whatever. But the thing here is, when you switch this back into the 10, uh, 10 multiplier, or max multiplier that we used before, you will no, you no longer start using the same sequence. So in this case, it will not continue the same sequence. Like uh, the, after the 10 uh, roll that we got, we got like five and an eight. So if you go back into 10 here, when we go and start rolling that, it will not give you the same sequence. So in this case, that's the old way on using the airplane mode. But yeah, 
So if you want to start seeing or in this case maximizing your rewards, you could still use the uh, airplane mode here and basically start getting the rolls that you want to get. But then again, there are going to be some updates that Monopoly Go is raising right now. So some features are going are being or some glitches are actually being removed, which is obviously uh, this uh, this meta should be uh, actually uh, in the game itself. But you could go ahead and still use it as of right now. But again, there are going to be some limitations, like what I said before. So what we see before is we logged out of our account and we log in it again. Now the thing with Monopoly Go is they actually implement a new thing here they need to consider. So that includes uh, your maximum login limit for that specific day. So if you're re -log in and logging it again into your account, you might see this pop up here. So you might see the limit warning option, which is not good, especially uh, if you're uh, if you're still playing uh, some games and you don't want to stop playing. But then again, if you're re log in and log in again into your account, you might get this pop up, which is not good, and you might even have your account banned. So which is not very good, especially if you have a lot of roles and you're already far ahead within your board. But then again, you could go ahead and wait in, wait in if it's worth it for you. But yeah, so. In this case, that's about it. You can still use it, but again, there's some limitations. So you could go ahead and uh, decide for yourself if you want to fully utilize this one. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.